I never knew how much we needed a Ryan Reynolds Samuel Jackson buddy comedy until after I saw this movie. Okay, on three. One. My bad. You're bad. Hey there guys, how are you? It's me, the Canadian Movie Buff, with a review of The Hitman's Bodyguard. Ryan Reynolds plays a self-claimed triple-A bodyguard who suckered into protecting Darius Kincaid, a hitman who has the only evidence that can bring down the president of Belarus. Played by Gary Oldman, of course. I have to credit whoever came up with this idea, because while it is formulaic on the surface, there's a certain charm to it. Although Reynolds and Jackson have strong performances and funny lines, it can't help but fall to action comedy cliches. Brian Reynolds and Samuel Jackson have great chemistry, and every scene they're in just drives the movie up. They have that cliched, I don't like you, but we're gonna need each other to survive thing going, but for the most part, it works in their favor. Sometimes the jokes they make will refer back to something that was said earlier in the movie, and because you don't see it coming, it makes for a pleasant surprise. Now because of the movie's plot, they have all the genre's archetypes, including the good guy that's secretly working with the villain trope. You just look at him and you're like, yep, he's evil. But what I liked was that they did try to pull the surprise villain at the end. You know, where an action movie tries to pull a twist and say that this seemingly good guy is actually working for the bad guys, even though you know that he was working for the bad guys, the movie decided to pull the war over your eyes until it revealed itself later on. They revealed that he was a villain early in the movie and didn't try to lead you on this path. You hear that, Jason Bourne? Stop making your closet bad guys so easy to spot. Despite what this movie has going for it, not every joke lands on its feet. A lot of the comedy relies on that quippy, snappy back and forth, but that trend gets old soon enough. And whenever a joke didn't stick, it would create this awkward silence that made it kind of uncomfortable to watch. There's a scene when they're driving down the highway and Samuel Jackson starts singing. Ryan Reynolds tries to ignore him, but then joins in on a high note. It's funny when it happens, but the build-up felt confusing and the moment just went on longer than it had to. The storyline was fairly predictable. You had this odd couple who hated each other, but they eventually bond and soon it leads to a happy ending. So basically, if you've seen Rush Hour or the Jump Street movies, you've pretty much seen Hitman's Bodyguard, except this time it's with Ryan Reynolds and Samuel Jackson. This movie dominated the box office during the last couple weeks of the summer, but that's not really saying much. Because once IT came out, this movie faded from the top town lightning fast. It's an alright movie, there are some nice, if not generic, action sequences, and the chemistry between Jackson and Reynolds works, but I feel as if this movie should have been funnier based on premise alone. Maybe they should have had better writers. It's not that much of a memorable movie, but it's worth checking out at the cheap seats. Alright, that's my review of The Hitman's Bodyguard. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Leave your answer by commenting down below. And as always, this is the Canadian Movie Buff saying I hope you had a fantastic weekend at the movies. See ya!